What happened to all the all the Anunnaki and all and Toth and all them? They had two wars. The first pyramid war almost eradicated them, but they got they started over again. The second pyramid war, bad. Mm. That one almost decimated the planet. You see how when you look at Earth, like from Google Earth, you see a lot of those big deserts going across. People say, oh, that's just natural geological formations over time. This has become an arid desert. No, that's war. Hmm. If you go to Egypt and stick your hand deep in the sands, eventually you're going to come up with balls of glass. How can you get glass and sand? 3,000 plus degree temperatures. You go to Mohenjo-Daro in the Indus Valley. What are you going to see there? Dead bodies still in the streets from thousands of years ago, still holding hands, never been scavenged. The buildings that they lived in turned to glass. How can that be? We're talking about... 3,000 plus degree temperature weapons fire. We're talking about this war that happened in the ancient past. Amun-Ra wanted to continue his, he started the first war to take over the earth early because he didn't want to wait for his processional period to, to rule. And then this is the guy who says, you must say amen after everything. Say amen. Everything you give thanks for, you're saying amen to him. So when yeah. you say amen, you're thanking him, by the yeah. way. A brutal killing guy. But anyway, so he says, <laughs> it's a fact. He, so he's, he's, he, he started one war to take over early, which he won. Yeah. He then started a second war to stay in power. And in that second war, he escaped. Uh, he was almost killed. But he left his kingship and the, and the finances of the kingdom to the Ra Kam. And R-A-K-A-M. But that translates into modern words. Kam translates into child's. So now you translate Ra Childs, Ra Childs. Mm. Oh! 